Today, we're here to talk about what the MLB did wrong with baseball marketing. Has baseball truly lost its magic? Today, we'll dive into what Major League Baseball did wrong with its baseball marketing strategies and what they could have done right. Critics may say that baseball is as good as dead these days, but the Major League Baseball's following says otherwise. With teams that have existed for decades, the MLB is adamant to prove them wrong with its new baseball marketing strategy. Hey guys, welcome to Creative. Here we use our passion for the game to change the game. Every week we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Today, we're here to talk about baseball marketing and the MLB. Revolutionize the game and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. So is baseball dead? Some people may claim that other leagues have left the MLB behind in terms of its popularity, but their large following and game audiences argues otherwise. Unlike other sports leagues, MLB has the advantage of banking on nostalgia, with at least nine teams carrying loyal fan bases and two franchises that have existed for well over 100 years. It's safe to say they have enough fans to sustain themselves. But things have changed, and the league needs to start leveraging its nostalgia to their advantage. So, is it a little too little, too late? The MLB has managed to catch up against bigger leagues in terms of social media presence, but they still have a lot of catching up to do. During last year's season, the league's teams were seen consistently promoting games on Twitter. The sporting industry's number on social media platforms, MLB wanted to leverage the nostalgia advantage they had by reaching out to younger generations. The league also went on to further strengthen their presence in other platforms like Instagram, and within the coming year, marketing officials have expressed MLB's plan to spend more time building out their YouTube channels. And with the new player social media program, Program created to assist MLB players in building their social media presence, it seems like they finally found their new audiences. Now, let's talk about where they went wrong. The MLB was fortunate enough to have an already well-established fan base to back them up. But unfortunately, they didn't know how to use this advantage when it came to establishing their social media presence. Officials admitted that they needed to know where their target consumer was, which is the newer generation. And this is where MLB's first mistake happened. Developing a game plan. The brand's marketing plan can easily determine just how successful their campaign is. Why? Because it gives you an idea whether they really know their audience or not. A good game plan should include who your audience is, where they spend most of their time in, and the kind of content they like. It should discuss strategies curated to the needs of the consumers and should also include metrics that help them measure the success of the campaign. Campaign. Before starting any campaign on any platform, it's best that you do your own research and develop your own marketing plan. Take the time you need with getting to know your people as it'll give you a better idea on which strategies will work and which strategies will not work. All of your efforts will go to waste if all of them are just going to the void. Now, leveraging athletes. The MLB isn't the only league that suffers from the dilemma of unseen athletes. Even the NHL suffers from the same thing. And there's so much potential that's yet to be tapped with leagues that don't leverage athletes. So instead of keeping them in the dark, encourage them to build their personal online presence by promoting events and their sponsors. During the initial run of the league's player social media program, a spike in engagement was observed. It shows there is a general interest among among baseball players. Not only will you be helping your athletes, their popularity can help the league in general. Now for the big one, sharing content. One of the main reasons why social media has become so important to the sporting industry is content. Audiences can easily catch up on any game they've missed through video clips, news articles, and even tweets. But because of the important role content plays nowadays, it's not enough to just upload videos or write articles. You need to tell a compelling story to your audiences. Some of today's greatest sports leagues are expert storytellers. Just look at the campaign's NBA leads. Unfortunately, the MLB has decided to work with sports and entertainment company Octagon in developing its long-term content strategy for the coming year. To say that baseball is a dying sport is a 
a bit of an exaggeration. Until now, the MLB is thriving through nostalgia and America's love for the sport. All that they have to do now is to leverage this advantage for the better. The role of social media in sports industry is expected to grow in the coming years. That's why sporting leagues like MLB are told to start their training early if they want to catch up against major players. Now, if you want to learn more about the great impact the internet has created to sports, check out our other videos on sports marketing and social media. So what else do you think the MLB could have done better to amp up their social media game? Share your thoughts with us down below. We hope you guys loved today's video. And if you wanna learn more about the great solutions that can change the game, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. It really helps out the channel. This is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport.